going to plan a big war. It's not going to be within the city frame. It's going to be in the outskirts of the city. All night, you know. Yeah. I need all night. Hello. Yes, how can I help you? I have a message for her. Who is the messenger and what is the message? Hey, guy. Unfortunately, the message is not for you. It's for her. Nina, let's talk. No, she's going nowhere. Now tell us what the fucking message is and get out of here. <laughs> hey! Hey! I don't blame you. There's not been any proper introduction. Nina, could you tell him? Well, look here, look here. I don't want to ever see you come close to her again. I don't want to see you near her again. She's my girlfriend. And let me tell you, I can't share with anybody. Never. Mark my words. It's for the record. Don't come close to her again. Nina. Is that supposed to be a threat? I hate threats, you know. And the next time you come close to her, I'll blind your eyes. Hey! Hey! Let me tell you something. Look at that. Oh my head! Hey! Nina! Nina! Ah! Ah! Nina! What is going on? Yes! Me, Chris! Hey. Nina! That guy! Rise! 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 Hey, man! Hey! Oh, Nina! 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 You! Let's go! What is this now? Hey, Kese. Whose head did you break this time? That boy who used to follow Nina around, I had to teach him a lesson. You mean the one in our department? No, that one we met the already we went to see her in the hostel. That one broke his head. Is that a call, Nina? Kizzy, you mean to tell me you broke Joe's head? Then prepare. Be prepared to leave the school. Either right now or in a body bag. Why? I broke his head so that he will know that anywhere we meet, I am his ogre. He has to be. Boy, oh. forget to. Oh. Okay, oh, Jimmy. Oh. Why are you panicking? Why? Waiting. Hey! Kizzy, do you know what you're talking about? Do you know what you are talking about? Chris Banjo is the number one of the deadliest cult on campus. Mm -hmm. And Joe happens to be his unfortunate friend. Wait, wait, wait. Are you talking about Chris Banjo, the one Kelly told us about? Exactly, that, exactly. Hey, wait, me, oh, 
Oh, is it about it to know you? Is it about it to know you? Hey! Chris Panjo. Chris Panjo. Hey! Now, Casey, don't you just sit there and look at me like a dummy? Casey, mm -hmm. run to your house, pack a few things before they trace you there, and then get to meet me so we get to know how we will resolve this issue. Okay? Come on, come on, run to your house, Casey. <laughs> Since you've priced, you must pay. You can run, but you can't run away from us. Unless you run without stopping or you sleep without waking up. That's the only way to escape from us. May God never forgive me if your head still dangles on your neck after today. Banjo, Chris. Chris Banjo. Yes. Kiss your head. Chris Banjo, head. Tima, what, what, what do we do? We run. To where? I don't know what we've run, Kizzy. No, but Kizzy, when you go pay me money, I'm here. Why, why did you chance me about this money now? Which kind of thing is this? But money, money, we know you're trying to get it. No, 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 no. Do pay me my money. That girl looks good. I'd like to have one. Uh, mm-hmm. Don't worry about it, my brother. You just finished it and I'm... It's too early to start drinking. Do you start drinking? think you. it's too early? Yes. And let's not argue about that. Okay? Please keep me. Yeah. Okay. Sorry! 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 Exclaim? Yes! Damn! What? How? Fuck! I believe they will get far. We will have to trace them. Oh, guys, guys, move, move, let's go, let's go, let's go, guys, let's go, let's go, move, let's go, move it. Guy. Guy down.
Hi, how you doing, girl? I'm cool. So, you know me the Collins, right? Yes, I know me the Collins. Let me tell you something, girl. Where is Nina? She's not, she no longer stays here. Do you like your skin? Of course. You're a very yeah. beautiful girl. Sure you like your skin? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, don't be scared, girl. Come on, don't be scared. Yeah. It's just joking, you know. Don't be scared. Yeah. You know what? If you like your skin, tell me where Nina Collins is right now. Else! Where's she? Where is Nina Collins? Okay. She stays in Queen's Lodge. Queen's Lodge? Yeah. You sure? Go to Queen's Lodge, there you find her. You sure? Yeah. Tell me something. If I don't get Nina Collins at Queen's Lodge, your skin will be burnt. You understand that? Yeah. Do you understand that? Yeah, sure. You sure she's there? Yeah, she's there. Kazi, when they say Chris Banjo, he's dangerous. That's an understatement. He's deadly. I didn't bargain for this. Now take a look at what you've gotten me into. Please, this is no time for blames. What are we going to do, please? Can someone just tell me what is going on here? And who is Chris Bandy coming after? Who? See, 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 listen to me and listen good, okay? You just pack up a few things. Okay, pack up a few things and let's leave this place for our own safety. Please, I'm begging you. Okay? Chima, I'm not moving out. Each out of this house until you tell me what is going on between you and Chris Bandy. Wait! You sort of got yourself involved in court activities, eh? And now you two you can drag me around like your handbag. No way. <laughs> Please, please, please. Shh, shh, shh. Don't worry, Kazi. This is my fight, okay? Let me handle it. Okay? You calm down. You guys should just go fight your friend and leave me out of this. Please, see, baby. I'll pretend I'm not seeing you guys. Baby, listen to okay? me. Okay, listen to me. Okay, listen and listen good. We are in a deep mess. Okay? And the more we stay here and argue, the more the bad guys close in on us. Okay? You know Chris Banjo, don't you? You know Chris Banjo, don't you? And you know what he's capable of doing to you, especially if he finds out that you're his rival. Okay? So you know what? See, just leave me out of this. Just go. Leave me out of this, please. We can't fight Chris Banjo for crying out loud now, nah, baby. We can't fight him. Okay, so you, you know exactly what we're going to do? We will leave this place right now and I will explain later. I will explain everything. Okay? Collins, Nina Collins. How are you doing today, girl? How did you get here? How did I get here? I am Chris Banjo, the real deal. I own this campus. I go wherever, I do whatever, and I see whatever. You can run, but you can hide from me. You know it. What are you doing here? You stay away from me. Let me be. Nina, stay away from you. Yeah. Well, I've got the time. I need you to do me a favor right now. And you must do it. You better keep that favor to yourself because I'll do no such thing. Stay away from me. Just let me be. Stop as ever. Dog! 
Nina. Don't push me. I need you to take me to Kazi's friend's house now. Do you hear that? <laughs> now! Do you hear that? Got it! <laughs> Guy. Guy. Nina, Nina. As stubborn as ever. Why are you doing this to me? Why? But as pretty what as have I ever. Done wrong? Sure, come on. You're beautiful. You need to be with the real man. You know what? <laughs> Just do me this. Favor, take me to Kaza's friend's house. Else, got it. So come down. You take me the right. You're beautiful. Fine. God. Did you just? No mistakes. You understand? Just take me there. I will let you go. I'll let go of you. I promise. <coughs> Got it. Now what you do for me is we walk out there. You pretend as if nothing happened. Nothing. Just smile. Put up a smile. If you make a mistake, you're dead. Move. I don't want you to go alert in the neighbors. So when you walk through the corridor, you put up a good smile. Put up a smile. No mistakes. Let's go. The place. That's his house. Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Are you sure? Yes, that's his house. Hmm? I swear that's his house. Look at me. Don't fuck with me. I repeat, where is the place? That's his house. I can't lie to you. I'm very sure that's his house. Hmm? Look swear. at me. I told you before. If you mess up. What? What? Why are you going to? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right. Stop. Stop. Where is she? Where is she? Guys. Where is she? Where is she? Forget her. Shit. Forget her. Forget her. Where is he? He escaped through the back door. Fuck. Motherfucker. Fuck. Shit. Damn. The deal. We've got two already. But fuck two. Where is he? He escaped through the back door. What?
Honorable, like I said before, she regained her consciousness yesterday after removing the bullets inside her. You still have not answered my question. How did this happen? I don't know exactly. She was unconscious when some students brought her here. And uh, from the look of things, she seems to be the only survivor amongst them. Oh my God! What do these thieves want from my daughter? You know that they are not thieves. They are student courtists. What? You mean those who that shot you are students? Can you recognize them? Yes, Dad. I saw their faces when they killed my friends. I don't know where they live. Wait a minute. They killed your friends? Oh, Gloria. Honorable, you don't know these students. We treat cases like this here almost every day. I don't know what our universities are turning into. No, 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 no. I can't take this. I can't take this. Yeah, hello. Yes, Professor Kalu. It's me, Honorable Charles. Yes. Are you aware that some of your students shot my daughter and killed two of her friends? Honestly, I can't take this. I want you to get those students apprehended and deal with them immediately. As I'm talking to you, I will dial the Commissioner of Police immediately. Do have a nice day, Prof. Um, Doc, how serious are those bullet wounds? Um, she should be thankful to God for her life. The bullet affected her bones. And uh, as a result of things, she might not be able to make use of her left hand side. It's okay. I want her transferred to her family hospital where it will be easier for her to receive treatment from home. No problem. No problem. Um, one more thing, Honorable. I will advise you not to take her back to that school until those culprits are brought to book. Doc, you don't have to worry. Um, it's not a problem. I'll call the Commissioner of Police immediately to intensify action. Beautiful. Thank you. I'll be in my office, okay? How is it? And don't make any noise. Now you turn around and go inside the house. Go inside. Move. Move here. Sit down here. Officer, go inside. Check everywhere. No single body for the house. Okay, nobody. Hey! Stand up! Where is Quist? I mean Quist Banjo. Where is he? Who is Quist Banjo? You don't know him? I don't know him. Fine. Now, do you know him? Or do you want my name to explain? Officer! I know him, I know him, I know him. Now, tell me, where is he? He's living in the other block. Officer! Move her! Here, be vigilant Why I go there and check. Alright? That 
as I yell, I'm not at the show right now. The show. The show as I talk to The show right about now. You know what happened? Go back. Take your own way. Why? You, you stay with her. Why? Do not fuck with me! If you do, you consider yourself dead. Ah! Yeah, wait! Officer, what is this? Now? Nobody is here! I said do not move! Jesus! Now sit down! I said put your hands on your head! Sit down! Now move here! I can't! I can't! Oh no! 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 Easy, officer. Easy, officer. What is this? Moving! Come on! Hey, can you make on the kill with style? Get up! What is this now? Ah! Ah! Move it! Move it! Move it! Move it! Officer, wait! I said move it! Stop! Officer, wait! Move it! Officer, wait! Officer, wait! Officer, wait! Officer, wait! I said move it! Right now! Officer! Right now, move it! Officer, we hands up! Chill, I mean, chill. I said, hands up! Chill, money, 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 Some hoodlums were arrested here some days ago. I want to check if they are the ones that shot my daughter. Okay, sir. Um, officer, bring those boys out. Uh, Uncle Nobles, who are you? Okay, I am Honorable Charles. All right, Honorable. Yeah, Nobles. <laughs> Nobles. Uh, <clears throat> okay. If you see those people, you feel you recognize them. Yes. Can you identify them? Are you sure? Yes. No problem. Because he gets some idiots who will carry come put here. Banjo. He's a leader in school. That's no. what Be quiet. You! Everybody's afraid of him on campus. Me? Oh, I don't know this girl. I don't just know this girl. Oh, you know what you're talking about? Oh, you don't know this girl. We don't know this girl. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, my goodness. Ah, you don't know this girl. No problem. What do you mean I don't know this girl? I don't know this girl. 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 You don't know this girl. I told you before, the long arm of the law will catch up with them, and they just did. Don't be afraid of anything. 
that will be dealt with according to the law of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. I'll show you. Please do, because I know that the law of the Federal Republic of Nigeria do not condone these acts. I don't want you to compromise anything. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Yes, sir. I don't want them to hurt my daughter. And if you allow them to escape, you could go back for her. Especially now that they are aware that she's alive. And I don't want anything to force me to take her to school abroad. Hope you understand me. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Nigerian universities are better than all the universities they have out there. Yes, sir. I hope it's clear to you. Yes, sir. Sorry, guys. Eh? Sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, sorry. <coughs> but, uh, yes. hmm? Like my colleague said, we are giving you our words. Okay? Listen, Nandiran police do not compromise anything at all in dispatching their duties. Okay? Just trust the Nandiran police. Alright? Okay. Uh, but I would like to see the DPO first. I will press on this. luggage in hand like a thief and when I accosted him he told me there was trouble on campus I uh, <laughs> I didn't quite believe him but I let it pass I said to myself tomorrow is another day and today this morning I called this HOD who told me that there was nothing, nothing, no trouble of any kind and that the campus was very peaceful. So it confirmed my suspicion that Kazir was not telling the truth for reasons best known to him. So before you all, I want to ask him again, Kazir, what is your problem? Brother Kazir, please listen to your father and answer him. Who you stop up there, you fool? You have to stop me. Can't you see this family meeting? Who you invited you here? Get out of the door, keep your ass. Kazir, you don't have to shut her up like that. Happiness has been long enough to be part of us. Now tell me, what does she not know about all of you? She must see from that. Mommy, Kazir is right. Happiness should learn how to excuse herself each time we're discussing issues like this. What is she doing here, by the way? Shut down your mouth. I called her. But since you have decided to, to send her off, I'll leave that matter for now. And we'll go back to Kazir. What do you say is your problem? I have decided I'm not going back to school. I want to do business. What? You can't be serious. You see what I told you? Talk to him. Talk to your son. Talk to him. Talk to him. Talk to him. All of you. Talk some sense into him before I come back. Has they come back here? 
I said, come back here. Sit down there and tell me, what kind of a son are you? Your father just finished talking, you're walking out from me, your mother, without saying a single word. Because even if you can't tell your father the truth, can't you confide in me, your mother? Tell me, where did you decide to drop out of school after two years? What is the problem, Kazia? Mom, it's my life. It's my life. I've decided I'm not going to school. And I don't want to talk about this anymore. I don't want to talk about it in this house. Kazia, listen. With my little experience as a student on campus, I know just about a few things that could make you want to take that kind of decision. Now, if for any reason you're involved in any kind of cultism or something, I mean, why can't you tell daddy? Talk to him, he knows a couple of people. He can always sort you out. Or worse still, you know, he can always send you to another university or something. Will you keep your mouth shut if I wash you? Don't touch her! Don't mind her. Why do you always like to prove that you are the wisest in this house? Didn't you hear what he said? He doesn't want to go back to school. And you're here wasting your saliva. Why oh, don't you force him back to school? That's our fool. Would you try to help your brother? Try to help your brother. No, but seriously, you should. Shut up, Mom. Shut up, Mom. Shut up. Mom. Shut up. Mom. There is no need for all this. Kazi is of age. He can take care of himself. Just hear yourself. <laughs> Mommy, I'm um, please, my love. Anita, please. Please help me talk to your brother. Help me talk to Mommy, your brother. I will. I will God. just take it easy. Let me try my best. Okay, just give me some time. God. Continue having sleep this night over his son that I've chosen not to be useful to himself, please. My dear, do you realize that Kazi is, is my only son? That's I know. But we can't kill ourselves. Do you know I was feeling like that before I developed high blood pressure? And I advise you, think less about that. You support him whatsoever he wants to do. After he said, that is his life. Please get some sleep, okay? That's the thing, please. Okay? Me. Don't tell me that you're not taking us to school this time. I would have loved to, girls. But you know, Daddy is very, very angry about this Kazir's problem. He has vehemently refused not to be a party to his dream business. So I want to get to the shop, sign the agreement, and come back. When you're ready to go, Chidi will take you to school. But please, take your studies very, very serious. Yes. In that case, Daddy will be happy, and Mommy will love you the more. Okay? Mom. Yes, mom. Okay. <laughs> so, you guys take good care of yourself. But make sure you call home, okay? Oh, I miss you, mom. Mm -hmm. Miss you too. In case if I don't come back before you pull leave, I wish you safe ride and God blessings. Okay? Thank you. Okay. I love Hi. you too. Mm -hmm. Hi, mommy. Okay. Bye, Bye, mom. Thanks. Okay. 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 Help 
As yet, won't you walk? Just sit in there. No, so, sir. You are in charge here whenever I'm not around. Who took away 10,000 naira from the money I kept here today? Who? Okay, I swear I don't know. This sounds strange. Hey, okay. Because was the last bit I went to the drawer yesterday. Why do you keep crying through food? Because you gave me money to keep in the drawer. Does that make me a thief? That's why you took the money. Will you shut up all of you? Now listen. If you don't find that criminal among you, you will see. So, how is that now your problem? What are you talking about? For Christ's sake, it's 7 a.m. in the morning. If she has men in the house at this time of the morning, that means they slept here. Hold on, wait, wait. What? Uchena is your elder sister. Please, just take it easy with her. Look, that is the point. She is my elder sister, but you know, I hardly see my sister in school anymore. She doesn't even attend lectures. All she does is, is one man, is one party, or she's traveling or something. I just need her to change. Please, just take it easy with her. Please, hold on, let's go. Please, please. So you just sneak into this room so that you can see what to gossip about. Now you've seen everything you want to. So kindly take your friend and leave this room. Close the door behind you. Can I can I speak with you in private? What for? What are you hiding again? Say your bit and leave. Okay. Um, I've tried to call you all day, but um, apparently your phone is turned off. 
I lost my ATM card. I need to buy some of my leftover textbooks and hand out. I want you to borrow me some money. Once I retrieve my card back, I'll give you back the money. That's why I'm can tell anybody about this this show of shame going on here no I couldn't you are just destroying yourself for two days two days Uche you have not been to school because of this 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 little fools chance to redeem yourself. You still have a choice depending on what you want to do with your life. Please let's just get out of here. Stop this, okay? You are gradually losing control. I don't want anybody to suspect us. Look, I don't want anything. I just want a kiss before you leave. No, not this time, okay? I mean, you can't have enough of me. I'm always here for you. Just give me the money. We will see some other time. Just manage that one for now, but keep to your promise. Okay. I love you.
No, sir. Sir, why did you leave the bag open? Or didn't you see the one I kept there? I I've never gone to the bag since today. Look how I kept the money for what I sold. Don't be a case, eh? Sir. Who left this bag open? Sir, I've not been to that door to, to today, but, but but I saw Kizzy coming out from that direction. So does that mean I touched them? The call me shut up! Did you go to that bag today? I went, but I didn't touch the bag. Shut up your mouth! What is it you have in your pocket? My pocket is my pocket bag. Normally in the evenings, when I flee close from the shop, I, I, I go to the church. Yes. Let me see. Go on, bless you! Yes, sir. So you are the thief in our midst. Okay, I don't know how this thing came into my pocket. Keep quiet! I, I just kept the bubble inside. Please shut up your mouth. You are a total disgrace to your family. Now go back to the house and pack all your belongings and leave. You are a thief and I don't have a criminal. Well, we just had a little disagreement. Uh, nothing more. Are you telling me the truth? Kaze? Are you telling me the truth? Hmm? What did you do? I've spoken. They just had a little misunderstanding. That boy, is, told me. that boy is a disgrace. He's lying to you. I know her, but he, 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 would, he can't send him away just because of a, a little misunderstanding. Well, let's wait and see. No, my dear, we do not wait and see what happens in matters like this. Okay. I'll call him. Herbert. Yes. Well, actually, that's why I am ringing. But, yes, yes, we will. But, Herbert. Yes. Good night. What is he saying? He too is not saying anything. Wow. Says we have to wait until tomorrow and he will tell all. He's coming here. 
uh, in the evening. Wait. This, this has given us a little bit more time. I want you to find out from your son. Find out what the, what the matter is. Hmm? Before Herbert comes tomorrow. I will do my best. Good. But meanwhile, I want to go to the market and pick a few things for the house. I'll be back soon. Thank you. Oh, by the way, make sure you don't smile at any man. <laughs> Exactly what I told you last time. We had a misunderstanding. Now, can I rest? Can I rest? Okay. I believe you. If you like, don't believe. Good it's your problem. Any luck, my dear? He still refused to say anything. He still maintains it is a little misunderstanding, that's all. This boy he won't just kill me. I think the best we do is to just wait for her to come. Until he comes. Since he said that he's coming tomorrow.
I am very sorry that I didn't call before sending your son home. It was as a result of the anger Kezia caused. Since Kezia came to that shop, I've been noticing strange missing of money in the shop. Could you believe that a couple of weeks ago, I kept 300,000 naira that I brought from the bank and somebody went and collected 10,000 from the money. When I asked, all the fingers pointed at him, but he denied. Before I kept another money, which he went and collected a bundle from the money and I caught him red-handed. It's not possible that I, Oscars, will have a son who would stoop so low as to steal. Ha! What have I not done for that boy? You see, I don't want him to corrupt my boys. That is why I sent him home. I understand. I understand. It's not your fault. It's not your fault at all. One more thing, Mr. Oscars. These people claimed that Kesia impregnated their daughter. Impregnated who? These people have been disturbing my peace and my business. So I had to come alongside the girl and the mother just to clarify from Kesia if actually he is responsible for the pregnancy. Kesia? 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 Do you know this girl? Yes, I know her. And did she tell you that uh, she is pregnant? Uh, she told me and I know I'm not responsible. She only asked me for some money and I refused to give her. Go to me. It's all right. It's all right. There's no need for that. I know my son. Madam, please, you and I have to meet in my office to sort out details. But meanwhile, from this moment, I take over the welfare of your daughter and the unborn child until that child comes of age. God bless you, sir. Hey, she, sir. Ah, thank you so much. Won't you greet him? Won't you greet him? Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, my office is uh, at number 19 of Buffet Miaulo Way. Please, I want us to come and sort out all these details. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Once again, apologize. Yeah. God bless you, sir. Thank you. Please, don't worry. No, I don't. Don't worry. Maran, thank you so much. Thank you, man. Thank you, sir. Go out. Idiot. Out. Take it easy. How are you sure Kese is responsible for that pregnancy? How can he accept it so easily like that? I know. I know my son is responsible. And I know he's an irresponsible idiot. You don't talk about my son like that. You don't want to believe the truth. Just be careful. Sit down. I say, you know you're my only son. And it will be my joy as a mother to see you become somebody in life. Your mates are in school. You dropped out of school after two years to do business. Now, instead of you concentrating in doing the business, you chose to give I and your father high blood pressure. It is one bad story today or another. Now tell me, why must you steal your master's money? Why didn't you tell us so that we can give you enough money that you needed instead of stealing? That 
That's not we started. You went and impregnated that girl. Because they told me, where have we failed as parents? Where have we not what we're supposed to do for you? Because <laughs> why have you chosen to give us shame and disgrace? Don't you know you are our only son? I think I say you are the hair and the pride of this home. Why do you this to all? Hey, no, I'm not touching this car. I'm not touching this car. Do you think I'll just sit here and listen to this nonsense? Why would I steal? Why wouldn't I steal? How much do you people give to me? This cover cover you give me, you call that money? You think I don't know how much you give Uchi and Adinka as school allowances? You think I don't know? Now, if you want to give me money, give me money. Remember I'm the elder brother. You call me the heir, yet you give more, much money to, to, to my sisters and you don't give me money. And you expect me not to steal. I must steal or I must steal. If you want to give me money, give me money. If you don't give me money, I'll sell this house or better still, I'll sell your car and use the money. Yes. Give me money, let's get out of this nonsense house. I was at the backyard watching the floor. I did not hear you calling. Okay. Let's go inside. I was coming down the staircase when I met my mother on the floor. I don't know what's, what's wrong with her. Let's, let's, let's take her to the hospital. Where? Let's go inside! We've asked about it. Let's go! Let's go, let's go! Let's go.
She's been taken care of in the emergency world. What happened? I, I, I don't know. I just came and met her on the floor in the city room. So I asked Happiness to help me bring her here. Uh, I don't know what happened. How is my wife? Sorry, Mr. Oscars. Your wife was already dead when she was brought here. I, I suspect she had a kind of attack, or probably she hit her head somewhere, because I noticed a slight injury at the back of her head. Say something. Daddy, where is mommy? Mommy, Dad, please talk. Your, your mommy is, is dead.
Brother, I pray that God will give you the solace to carry on in life. Stella's death is devastating. It is such a tremendous loss to our family. She was a good mother, loving and caring. What wasn't she? And she was fond of everybody including Adinka and Lucena. And I'm wondering how they are going to cope with the news. Have they been informed? No. No, I don't want to inform them yet. You see, I, I don't know how they are going to handle the shock of that, of that news. <laughs> I, I have to cook up a good story that will make them want to come home. Maybe I should do something. Maybe I should go bring them home. Maybe I should tell them that Uncle Sam is back from America. He leaves tomorrow. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Yes. Yes, I think that's a very good idea. Thank you, brother. Yes, but be careful how you handle it. You don't have to worry, brother. Consider that handled with care. so long. You can't go on like this. Mommy has gone to the bosom of the Lord. That must be the way the Lord wants it. Otherwise, why would he take her away from us at such a young age? When he knows that I am not able to handle taking care of this family alone. The most difficult part is how I am going to tell the children that their mother is dead.
Tomorrow, you know, we are running late for that lecture. I know. Come in. I'm fine. Uh, weren't you going to ask me to come? Oh, Uncle, okay, I'm sorry. Look, I just got so excited. I forgot my manners. Come in. Oh, no. What are you doing here, Uncle? Uh, no, tell me. Tell me. What part about this visit? No, don't tell me you were just passing and stopped by to say hi. No, I came to see you. Really? <laughs> okay, so what's up? What's up? What's up? Uh, is she your friend? <gasps> Uncle, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm not usually like this, but I'm just too excited to see you. Um, yeah, that's my roommate. Her name is Nkiru. Nkiru, my uncle. Uncle Dimaka. Hi, good day, sir. Hello, Nkiru. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good. You're yes. welcome. <laughs> so, Uncle, what? tell me, tell me, tell me, how are my parents? How is mommy? How is daddy? Your father and mother, they are terrific. Right. They extended their regards to you. Uncle, I've missed them so much. I know you will. Um, where is Uchenna? Um, Uchenna doesn't live here. She stays with her friend in another hostel. I thought she was the one who directed you to this place. No, your daddy gave me the description of this place. Oh. But he didn't mention that Uchenna lives separately from here, you know. Anyway, Uncle, Uncle, give me the gist. Now, tell me why you're here. Because I know so something excited. is cooking. Yes, something is really cooking. Okay. But are you ready for this? Of course, Uncle. Trust me, I can handle it. Yes. Mm -mm. Just a I can't. Okay. All right. First thing you said, bad. <laughs> okay. Uncle Sam is back from America. Oh my God! How are you serious? Dead serious. My God! When did he come back? Yesterday, and he leaves tomorrow. Oh. An urgent business brought him. Anyway, anyway, give me my phone. Give me my phone. Uh, what are you going to do with your phone? With I your need phone. to break the news to Uche. No, let's surprise Uche now. Okay. Pack your things. We'll go to Uche now. Then we'll go see Uncle Sam. Uh, Uncle, right away? Yeah. I got lectures. Anyway, never mind. I'll do just like baby girl. Pack your uh, stuff. We're going together. Okay? All right, girl. <laughs> Uncle, I'm so happy to see you. It's oh a pleasure being here. <laughs> yeah. Gucci, why are you frowning? Are you not happy that I didn't see your uncle that came back after a long while? It's not as if I am not happy. But at least Uncle Odinaka would have allowed us to decide if we wanted to see to see him now or not. You know we have an important appointment to, to attend. Eh? Every time you're just spoiling somebody's business. Uchenna, listen. You are too beautiful to be frowning. Hmm? Uncle Sam demanded to see you today. You can come home, see Uncle Sam, then be back here for your appointment tomorrow. Okay? Unless you want to miss your own share of the sweet American pie. <laughs> oh, his finger licking. Are you sure? I tested it. Come, let's go. <laughs> it's yummy. <laughs> let's go.
Which is? I think I want you guys to come and pick your bag. I'm sure you can handle it. Just bring them in. here from Uncle Sam. Well, it doesn't matter. You know the thing? We have to see mom first. Remember she said she was going to give us something if we clear all our papers? Yeah, that's Let's right. Let's bring the first. Why are you crying? Dad, what's going on? Why are you crying? Tell me, Dad, what is it? Where's mom? What is wrong with you now? Why are you crying? What did they tell you? Titi, happiness! Titi, why are you crying? What's going on? Tell me, why are people crying? Tell me, what is it? What is it, Daddy? Where's mom? Where's my mom? What did they tell you now? What did they tell you? What is it? Let's get out of here. What? Adil. Uche. Hmm? <clears throat> Mommy is gone. Gone? Gone to where? Mommy's dead. Can you stop being silly for once in your life? But Chris, don't you know where to draw the line? How can you say that about your mom? My mom called me like, like two days ago. And she told me that, that she was going to bring us food. Daddy, please tell me it's a lie. Tell me it's not true! No!
Dad, you sent for me. Yes. What? Do you know Afro Health uh, Pharmacy? Yes. Are you sure? Of course I know it now. Get me these drugs. But my car battery ran down this morning. Well, use your mother's car. It's been lying there for a while. With it. Right. Um go into my room, second drawer. It should be there. I want one this morning. I refuse to start. It's interesting. Really. But I was there when Chidi was warming it yesterday. Call me Chidi. Chidi. What's the matter with mommy's car? Oga, not in the worry the car. The car is okay. Ha. Ah. But Kezie just told me that uh, the battery is down. Oga, it be like say that car no like Oga can say. Let me use my hand drive and go down there with you. True. Hmm. Okay. Give me the car key. Let me try. Come. Not the car that you say something is wrong with. Look. Look, my friend, go and do what I asked you to do. Rejecting you, Chidi. Okay. Uh, you got you got started. Ha, ha, ha. 
See? Look. TD, take him to the pharmacy. Go and get him to the car. Take him, take him to the pharmacy. Something definitely wrong somewhere. It appears your mother is not happy with our trying to use the car before six months. Sorry, my dear. Sorry. Take my car. And you. And take this car back to where we parked it. Even in Mamaka, they reject him. Eh, you leave your dog, they start him. For where? If I enter inside, start him. He go start. Eh. If Kazi just enter inside, when I start him, for where? He go stop. Hey. It be like say this boy bad from the Mama Bele on this wall. If it be demon enter and come this wall, no, no. This life now, wow. But I beg, don't tell anybody. I tell you, no see this in your mouth. Come on, then. You self, you are not even hear anything. You don't tell me anything. Make it be like that. Make it be like uh, that. Make I go back the motor. Gas, make I pack and dance. Uh, okay. I become. Hello. Who's this? Uh, it's me, Nikki. I have put to bed. I now have a bouncing baby boy. Will you shut your trap up and listen to me, you fool? Now, keep that baby to yourself whenever you call this line again. Understand?
Uh -huh, that, that girl, that girl you pregnated, I mean, she should have put to bed by now. Um, uh, where, where, where is she? Uh, what, what's her name? Uluwa Nike. Nike, Uluwa Nike, yes. Yes. Get some information and uh, so that we can visit them at once. Well, I went to the house and was told they packed out. I asked the neighbors and they said there's no address or phone number they left behind, so there's no point. That baby is my grandchild. And you were supposed to keep an eye on them! How could they do this to me? I, I asked them to come and collect money. They didn't come. They know the house. And they didn't come back. Why would they come back? When I have such a stupid boy for his son. Dad, I'm not cut out for this rubbish this night. If you're asking for trouble, look for it somewhere else. No, I don't want to commit another... You don't want to commit another... what? this night. If you're asking for trouble, look for it somewhere else. No, I don't want to commit another...
you again. Dear sir, the love and care mommy showered on me will not let me keep this evil. My heart is bleeding over mom's death. The whole thing that happened, the scolding, the pushing, the screaming before she gave up the ghost, it still remains fresh in my memory. I'm sorry dad for keeping this for a long time. But please make sure you involve the police before you take any action.